protests and placards over Palestine, a familiar sight in cities across the country since last October. But will this have an impact on the next election? This is Sandwell in the West Midlands. It's a Labour-controlled council, and some activists tell me they used to be Labour supporters. Bugger no, getting the no, OK no, from Keir bloody Starmer in a statement. There's a full council meeting about to start. Demonstrators are demanding that their elected representatives listen to their concerns. Eventually, two councillors agree to speak to the crowd. Councillor Giles, Councillor Lewis, how is everybody doing today? You're good. Would you be asking for an immediate ceasefire? What we're asking for is all casual, you know what I mean, a cease to any injury, you know what I mean, That's on all parts. I understand the emotion in this as well, yeah. but at yeah. the same time, we've come out here to have a conversation, you've got to bear in mind it's a dialogue. Yeah. Are you all really letting us down? Shame. Like, Shame. Like, I can't support Labour now, and I've been supporting Labour for years. I'm not the only one, I'm not the only one. He's far from the only one, according to a new poll. An activist for three decades, Salman Mirza tells me that, like thousands of other British Muslims, it's no longer a Labour he loves. The Labour Party were us. They were our people. Not anymore. Especially for a lot of, you know, Pakistanis, Asian, you know, people of colour. And we feel really hurt and betrayed. Mr Mirza intends to stand in the election against his local MP, Shabana Mahmood. The Shadow Justice Secretary angered some constituents when she abstained for voting for a ceasefire in Gaza. She's not the only Labour MP being challenged. The party may be polling ahead of the Conservatives, but amongst British Muslims, support is falling. A new survey shows that support for Labour amongst British Muslims has dropped from 86% in 2019 to 60%. And when it comes to how British Muslims will vote, 85% say that the political stance on the ongoing conflict is important in influencing their vote at the next election, although only 15% said the conflict is the single most important issue. What the poll is showing is that the anger is not going away. We're Ali Milani chairs the Labour Muslim Network, which commissioned the poll. We meet him in East London, one of several seats with a large Muslim population, where the MP is being challenged by an independent standing on the issue of Gaza. Does it actually threaten sitting MPs, though? Because that would assume that Muslims are going to vote. Who are they going to vote for, if not for Labour? It assumes that they're all going to vote the same way. Well, you know, it, it's hard to actually look forward to a general election. But what's certainly true that this opinion poll is showing is that trust in Labour is on a serious decline. And there are constituencies around the country, I think over 30, where Muslims make up a significant population. But that's going to have a serious electoral consequence here. Uh, in Birmingham it will, in Leicester it will, in Bradford it will, Manchester. This one pound, one pound. Nobody, good quality. Could the Muslim vote make a difference to Labour's chances in these seats? What this looks like is something very similar to the Iraq effect on the Labour vote, where they lost a quarter, a third of their Muslim voters, but still half of the Muslim vote voted for Tony Blair after that war. Labour's losing maybe a quarter of the Muslim vote, still holding up maybe half of Muslims planning to vote Labour. We asked the Labour Party for an interview, but they didn't want to comment. It's been reported that the party is carrying out its own polling of Muslim voters, although it's calculated that their defection won't have direct electoral consequences, something that's dismayed some of the party's own MPs. I've been talking about this for a long time. Muslim colleagues have been talking about this for a long time. We have not been listened to. Since Keir Starmer made those initial remarks about Gaza, he has changed his stance, he would argue. Labour has moved in the right direction, but we're still not calling for an immediate ceasefire. Zara Sultana says there's a concern her party is being outdone by David Cameron, who recently suggested the government was considering recognising a Palestinian state. The MP warns it's not just Muslim voters who have noted this. It's really important that the Labour Party is listening to all voters and it's not just Muslim voters that care about what's happening in Gaza. I am getting constituents from all backgrounds. Contact me. Children! Polling data may be disputed, of course, but communities across the country are mobilising. 30,000 people came to the demonstration in Birmingham. So why this political leadership are not working to reflect this views? There's a warning that Labour is in danger of losing the support of a voter base 
many feel have long been taken for granted.